Yeah, oh, Jory. <sighs> Sorry about not being able to visit lately. A lot's been going on. <sighs> hey, what's wrong? So, you heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. I get that they were your friends, but we had to fight them. <sighs> huh? Is that not it? I was right. This fear. This pain. Junpei. In two years, what will you be doing? In two years? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Why do you ask? Oh, almost forgot to mention. I noticed you stopped. You know, hurting yourself. Huh? Oh. I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. Touch me! But, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. This is too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit. But now, it's different. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I, I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Uh, tell me what it is. Junpei. Don't come here anymore. Chidori. But why?
I must sew. Sewing is my life. My wallet may be light, and my materials may be cheap. But I will work out to make a beautiful kimono and save my future. This is starting to come together. Manzoku! When my uncle sees this, I know he'll agree with me about how great Nihon is. I believe you, which means I must work even harder. I made so much progress today, and I could not have done it without your help. Merci! Arigato! Thank you! Oh, my arms are so very tired. I must have overworked them. But no matter what's the cost, I will finish this kimono. For my future, for Nihon, I cannot give up now. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. I see you back.
Hey, mind if I pop in there real quick? Welcome. What kind of flowers are you looking for today? Oh, um, they're for a girl who's in the hospital right now. Yeah, well, flowers, are they? In that case, how about these ones here? Uh, let's see. All right, uh, one of those. White flowers? Are you sure about that? Huh? What? Is, is that bad? Well, she likes the color white, so I figured... I'm sure we'll be fine as long as you have a reason. Okay, let me wrap it up for you. Good. On second thought, I think I'll pass. Sorry for the trouble. Well, sorry for the pointless detour. Just, look, I don't really get it myself. Hey, wanna go sit somewhere for a bit? I don't feel like standing around and talking. So, the girl I'm visiting, I think I made her upset. I wanna tell her I'm sorry, but I don't even know what I did wrong. She told me not to come around anymore. So what am I supposed to do? That's what you'd do if you were in my shoes? Oh yeah. I'm sure you would be able to pull it off that way, but... It feels like I'm trapped in some kind of loop, you know? No matter how motivated I get, it's getting me nowhere. In that way since I played baseball. Those hero moments, or if I could just hit the ball. Man, I get so amped. Except I never once had to be the hero. Never it was clutch time. I always struck out. And I guess nothing's different now. Feels like I got a huge weight off my shoulders. Didn't think the day would come when I'd be talking to you about my problems, man. But I guess it's not really a secret that I got problems, huh? And besides, I kinda hate to admit it, but the answer you give is probably the right one. Ugh, crap, I'm losing my edge. I need something to get back in the groove. Let's get Katsudana with Katsu to wake us up. Oh, wait. Do they even have Katsu down there? Hey! You zoning out over there? You walked your dog around this time. I'm just out for a light run. Felt like I needed a little more after club practice. Ugh, it's kind of chilly just standing around. Wanna do some stair laps over there? What? Oh, welcome back. You've got some pretty good form there. I should get back to my run. I'll see you later.
these amazing commodities! I'm going to do it! Good, good! Not bad, kid!
time looking around. Say, how do you feel about a pink alligator? I thought so too. I knew you'd understand. See, it's the main character of a story that I'm writing. He was born in a lush green forest, but he turned out to be pink. He stands out so much that he can't hunt for food easily, so he's always hungry. The other animals dislike him and call him disgusting, almost like he's cursed. So he was used to living alone. But one day he made a friend. It was a little bird that had trouble flying. Every day the bird would stand on the pink alligator's back and practice. It's kind of embarrassing to tell you this. So? What do you think? Really? I've never written a story before, so I'm worried it's not going to be very good. But what matters is that I'm writing it for myself. Perhaps I can show you the entire novel someday. I actually came up with it the other day. I decided I wanted to write a heartwarming story just for myself. I'd like it to be a hopeful tale, about finding the meaning in one's life. I think of you when I write. It's like I can hear you telling me not to die just yet. is going to pick up soon. I can feel these kinds of things now. I hope I have enough time. We should leave. I'd like to see you again sometime. flowers. What the heck, dude? What's your deal? Or is this like a crush thing? Because this is too much love to handle. You don't bother denying it. And if it weren't true, it'd be even weirder. You really backed me into a corner here. You can't just not go now after all this. But, well, thanks. Guess I should take a page out of your book and finesse my way in. Except these flowers don't really make me look cool at all. Maybe I should come bursting in with the whole bouquet.
Hey! <laughs> we meet again. Oh, right, you're walking your dog. Wait, have you been doing this every day? So his name's Koromaru Kun. Wait, it's written with the kanji for tiger and wolf? What a badass. <laughs> Welcome back, little buddy. Oh, you can run around all by yourself, huh? Oh, aren't you a clever boy? Oh, man, I actually need to get going. I'll see you later, you two.